What's going on guys? Today we're going to take a quick look and do an unboxing of a preamp processor that I've really been looking forward to getting in, the NAD M17 V2. If you're familiar with the M17 that originally came out in 2014, this is the same thing but with immersive audio, so Dolby Atmos is now on board, hence the V2. The chassis is going to be the same as the standard M17 along with its front panel touchscreen. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Now before we get into it, if you've got a passion for audio and video gear like this pre-pro or want to keep up with the latest in highest quality movies at home, consider becoming a subscriber for new weekly content. All right, let's unbox it. So the V2 retails for $6,000. It's a premium device at a premium price. It's not your typical mass produced product. It's made from three pieces of thick aluminum screwed together rather than some sheet metal that you'll find on some lower quality AVR setups. It's even got a touch screen up front to keep aesthetics minimal and clean. So first impressions. This is by far the nicest processor I've had in my rack. The build quality is top shelf and that touch screen is just cool. It should be because it does cost six grand. It's got one of the best room correction systems on board using Direct Live. I'm curious to see how it stands up against Anthem's Arc Room Correction, which I found was the best I've tested so far. Sorry, Odyssey. The really cool feature it has is its modular design. So if there's, let's say, a new HDMI standard that comes out, all you'll have to do is unscrew the old HDMI section and pop in a new one. Kinda like upgrading a graphics card on your PC. So that should keep you future-proof for a little while, depending on how good the processor is, of course. It's got support for a 7.1.4 setup, but it's missing DTSX. Six Gs and no DTSX. <laughs> per the website, it will be getting a firmware upgrade. Fingers crossed that it's sooner rather than later. Okay, okay, I just wanted to keep this brief and not go in too deep, but if you guys are interested in checking out the full review, we'll be posting it over on the Audioholics channel in the coming weeks. If there's something you think we should cover in the video, just leave us a comment down below. Be sure to like and share the video, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys again in the next one.